Today is Tuesday, February 4th, and you're watching an SCW News Digest. A teenager is recovering tonight after being shot last night in Stockton. Around 7.30, Stockton police officers responded to reports of a shooting near March Lane and Holiday Drive. That same intersection has seen two other homicides and other non-fatal shootings in the past year. When police arrived, they reportedly found a 14-year-old suffering from gunshot wounds. The teenager was taken to a local hospital for what has been described as non-life-threatening gunshot wounds. Police are now looking into the case, into the shooting, and a possible motive. No suspect information was provided. A number of the previous homicides at that same intersection were labeled as gang-related last year, but police do not know whether or not gang activity had anything to do with last night's shooting. Well, new data this evening from the Stockton Firefighters Local Union. The painting a very fiery scene from 2019 as the Stockton Fire Department saw its busiest year on record. According to the union, who plans on releasing a year-in-review video next week, firefighters responded to 51,277 emergencies. Those emergencies included 313 working structure fires and 3,393 total fires. The fire department is staffed with 51 firefighters a day. Now, for comparison, the fire department has, or I should say, the fire department has 181 sworn personnel compared to the city of Modesto, which has 152 positions, but 96,000 less residents and a difference of at least 21,000 less calls for service. Speaking of the fire department, coming up after the break, how the lives of fallen firefighters are being remembered in spite of vandalism to a memorial. We'll be right back. Here's to the things that can keep us safe. And now, those that we carry with us everywhere will bring us wireless emergency alerts. With the unique sound and vibration, you'll be in the know, wherever you are. Welcome back. Since 2017, the area allocated for the memorial to commemorate the lives of fallen firefighters has been fenced off and the memorial statue has been removed. Vandals struck that year, putting graffiti on the memorial and painting it. Well now, two years later, firefighters are still remembering their fallen brothers and sisters at Stockton's Weber Point Park downtown. On Sunday morning, volunteers got together to place these cement plaques in the space where the memorial once stood. The plaques remember the lives of fallen firefighters and display the Stockton Fire Department's badge. The Firefighters Union is still determining whether, on where exactly they will place the old memorial. That is all for this SCW News Digest. Thank you for watching and I'll see you back here tomorrow with more news from Stockton.